Hello, this is Aarti here and I'm representing Trends IT. My area of work is Oracle databases and SQL Server databases along with the Business Intelligence Studio. Overall 16 plus years of experience I have. When it comes to the methodology which I follow, the methodology is usually to go down to the level of the participants and then matching up to their requirement and then gradually take it forward. The clients being handled by me are Intel, Bipro, iGates, Microsoft and many more. Over here we are going to understand about the Oracle database architecture. In Oracle database architecture along with that we also need to understand about the memory structure as well as the process structure. Over here if you have a look we have an Oracle instance which means the area in the RAM occupied by Oracle called as an instance. It consists of the memory structure like SGA. Along with that it also consists of the processes which are there in the RAM. It is always with the help of these processes that Oracle tries to access the files which are there on the hard disk. A couple of the processes are mandatory processes whereas a couple of them are optional processes. Now if we proceed further and try to look around what exactly is there in the shared pool area. So shared pool area you are able to understand that it consists of SQL as well as PLSQL statements. So this is the area where first of all the SQL statement comes and then it gets parsed and then there is an execution plan get, which gets prepared for it. When it comes to the data dictionary, it is the one which takes care of the information of the data that where it is stored and how to fetch the data. The next area over here is called as your library cache. Library cache is the one where we have a shared SQL area. Along with that we have PLSQL procedures and packages. And there are control structures which control the data along with that it also control the locks and latches there happening in this area. And then dictionary cache is there which takes care of the shared pool area size. Also along with that the name of the tables, name of the views which are available in the database and the different data types of the columns available in the database and in different tables. It also takes care of the privileges which are associated with the different users. Over here we try to concentrate on the database buffer cache is db underscore block underscore size and if at all we try to take a product of db block size along with the db block buffer that is what exactly is going to make your database buffer cache. Thank you.